I'm trying not to. Well, new at five, a former Fairhope resident who fled the country after being indicted on multiple child sex charges will now spend the rest of his life in prison. Yeah, 80-year-old Giuseppe Laporto eluded the FBI, even Interpol, for more than a decade. He now begins serving three life terms handed down today in Bay Manette. Local 15's James Gordon is just back from the courtroom where Laporto was sentenced. Well, Laporto was once Baldwin County's most wanted fugitive. What happened in court today is the end to a long story that dates back to 1996. Hey, Mr. Laporto. Yes, my lawyer for a copy of my statement, please. Showing no remorse, 80-year-old Giuseppe Laporto still insists he did nothing wrong. Laporto wanted everyone to pay attention to a six-page dissertation where he quoted a sentence from a history book saying, quote, power over others is weakness disguised as strength. Quickly, the judge in the case, Joseph Norton, responded saying, this is exactly what you did to your victim, laying the groundwork for a rare three consecutive life sentences. Judge Norton did what is hard for judges to do um, in giving such a strong sentence to an elderly person. And he was just amazing. He saw through it. Laporto's case dates back 17 years. He managed to flee the country just before he could be tried back in 1998. With the help of the FBI, he was arrested in Italy and extradited back to Baldwin County in 2012. He was found guilty last month for the rape and sodomy of his adoptive daughter. She is now a grown woman and starting a family of her own. Family friend Rick Cangria read a statement on her behalf in court today. And if there's any happiness to be evoked, it would be because the justice system did finally bring this evil man to justice. The victim asked the judge to sentence Laporto to the maximum on every count. We wanted him to spend his last breath in jail, and he should do that thanks to this judge. Well, the FBI found Laporto in his native home in Italy back in 2005 after he published a book called The Face of the Other Nation, America, a True Story. For now, we're live in Baldwin County, James Gordon, Local 15 News.